This is Jeff at Murray's Fly Shop in Edinburgh, Virginia with a quick fly fishing tip. Today we're going to tie the Murray's Hilgermite. This started probably about 40 years ago. I was trying to develop a pattern that would match the actual larva of the Dobson fly, which is the Hilgermite. Every pattern I had used had let me down. Ron Comer hit on the idea of using Ostrich Herald, which was really the secret of the whole thing. So today we're going to tie that for you. We usually use a 9672 uh, Mustad hook from size 8 up to about a size 4. Put a little cement on the hook shank to help hold everything together. I use a cement that I make here in my drugstore because we make it rather thin and this enables the cement to penetrate down into the materials to hold everything together. A real thick cement sometimes makes a nice looking fly, but it doesn't really hold everything together. We're going to use this, uh, what is usually referred to in the in industry as a medium uh, lead or lead free eye. These are 732nd of an inch. This uh, helps it get extra depth. And I'm going to show you how to lock them in so they don't wobble around on you. I'm about a quarter of an inch behind the eye. And I do that because I'm going to show you how we put that. I make a figure eight over it, make a figure eight back over here, lash that down. Usually I use a three out thread on this. And to snug them up, I go around underneath like that. That helps lock them in place. And this particular cement just penetrates down in there and holds everything together. I've been real well pleased with this. Again, that's one I make myself. Being a pharmacist, naturally, I have to play with it. So, that gets us on there. Now, the tail on this, if you want to call it that, is the ostrich herald. Actually, it's an extenuation of the body oh, really? that gives you that, that Underwater, this wiggles back and forth. The natural Helgramite, uh, when you drop, get one out from under a rock and drop him in the stream, he swims downstream with a very pronounced undulating motion. The ostrich herald sticks together and gives you that motion. So that's why we're using ostrich herald. Take off, oh, 15 or 20 or something like that. I don't count them. I trim them off down next to the main stem. Usually you want it about twice as long as a hook shank. Now see, some of them are a little thin up the top, so I just kind of shear those off with my thumb. Again, this is supposed to be what we think the bass perceive it as being, rather, the, act the body of the real Helgramite itself. So we tie that in back over the bend of the hook and just start behind the eye and just lash it down. Trim that off behind the eye. All right, then we're going to palmer this with black hackle. The Helgramite we sell, we do them in olive and brown, but the black's pretty hard to beat. I'm using a neck here because the fibers are wider. You can use a saddle if you want to. Uh, a neck gives you nice, wide, soft, webby feathers. Now, since you want this larger up in the front, you want to tie it in by the tip right back over the bend of the hook. If you've got a material holder, you can hook it in there if you think it's going to get in your way. The body on it is just basically the large black chenille. Cut off about a foot of that. Again, tie this in behind the eye. We're, we're going to end up in front of the eye in a minute, but I want to get all this behind the eye. Just hold that down behind the eye. Get your thread up in front of the eye in this case because we're, and I hope that's the material bobbin holder I made out of something a long time ago. 
I do put a couple drops of cement in there at all those tie-in points just to help hold everything together. A well-tied Murray's Helgramite, no reason that won't stand up for a hundred or more fish. There's just nothing there that should come apart. Okay, wind that chenille forward, one wrap immediately adjacent to the other. Up behind the eye, snugly duck under, and then come out in front of the eye with two wraps. That's what we achieve by staying back away from the eye a little bit. Tie that off. A trick I like is to use my line hand, I mean my left hand, to push that bobbin away so I don't cut the thread and say a bad word. So tie that off. Then Get your hackle pliers, get a hold of the center stem of the hackle barbule, and then palmer that up to the eye. Now remember, we have it tied in by the tip, so that's going to make the front of our helgramite a little fatter, you might say. Just palmer that. That's probably about four or five, six wraps. Get up to there. Put a couple wraps behind and duck through and a couple wraps in front of. And see, by the time you get up in there, then you're into the soft part of your hackle, which helps enhance that lively motion. Again, if you just, next time you're on the stream, gather up a couple Helger mites and drop them in the water and see how they act. Well, that's what we're trying to mimic here. With my line hand, I'm going to pull that back. Do a little house cleaning there. And of course this is just cosmetic. I like the Mattarelli whip finisher. There are a lot of good whip finisher on the market, but I really prefer this one to any of them. That rotating thing, it simplifies it. Hook it down in the bottom hook, hook it in the top hook, bring your left hand parallel to the hook shank, make about four wraps, and you're out of there. Let me do that again for you if you haven't used it. Hold it up there, about four wraps. I don't like to do more than four or five because I find out when I'm teaching my classes here and somebody will be putting ten wraps in there, the, uh, they get it so snug they can't pull it back out, so I don't do that and just put some of this head cement right on the head. And as I say, there's no reason in the world that wouldn't catch 100 or 200 bass. We do it in size 8, 6, 4, 6 is probably our most popular. It's a 2X long. This happens to be a TM Co. The model number is a 5262. <coughs> the Umclaw. Um, claw hooks are excellent, so are the Mustad hooks. And the Mustad is 9672. Those are a little ragged on the back, so if I really want to make them real pretty, I can come up here and trim some of those off. But that is an exceptionally effective fly. And I'll show you a trick. Since we fish everything barbless, an easy way to make something barbless on there is just put it in there and mash it down. Now, you don't want to heave and haul and break the whole thing apart, but that's a quick way to make any barbed hook barbless. Murray's Helgramite.